So I was just rolling along here, about to do my good morning. And I hit a massive pothole and pinch punctured. It's gonna be late now. See what happens when you don't run tubalitos. Punches. Hello. You right? No, I got a puncher. Good morning, bike is back together again. I'm here with Tobias, who is back from uni and I haven't seen him in about a year and a half. So it's lovely to catch up for a ride. Got a bit of a knee injury, I wanna keep it steady. Zone two today, ahead of the Tour de Friends that's coming up. And after this ride, I'm gonna head over to James's shop and see Mr. Bobby Quick, finally fixing his knee. Sun's out, beautiful day. Is it nice to be back in Richmond Park? Oh, I've missed this place. Yeah, yeah. it's missed you. Oh, it's not the same without sure, you, mate. I'm sure, You back for a few months? Yeah, it's October. Let's get a ride in, at least one. At least one, yeah. You kicked my head in though, you got faster. <laughs> uh, and I've got slower. Mr. Anderson, how are you? Yeah, it's great, mate. Sun's shining. It's quite a nice place to sit and work, isn't it? It's my office. We're going to do Bobby Quick's Fit. Bike Fit Tuesdays, mate. Days it today? Thursday. Hey, up. Hey, up. Hi. What a beautiful day to go in a basement. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's pretty. Uh, is, this, is this the GB Duro bike? Yeah. Fucking pretty beat. That's the one that hurt you. No, the bike didn't hurt me. It's a muddy fuck. fucking shit shoes you were riding. The knee was already damaged. You, um, you'd have been better riding barefoot. You don't remember barefoot riding? Well, I barefoot said, cycling. I said I'd better than orthotics. Some flat pedals. He was having none of it, and I was like, some flats would be way better than muddy fox shoes. Yeah. They are, I will I very happily have. say on camera, they are the worst shoes money can buy. They're worse <laughs> than the F brand. You recovered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. spent a couple of days in Hastings. I'm still totally fucked. Like, don't know if I'm just getting old. It seems like my skin's still peeling from the sunburn. Really? I got loads of spots <laughs> everywhere. I'm like, what the fuck? But it's from the stinging nettles. Nah, no? not on my face. It might have been my diet. Maybe. Of just Red Bull. Road bike, single speed, and I saw the groups at. So I just set up single speed using the power meter to train. But then I rode. London Brighton on it. Well, did ring, did did ring, but then on the train back, I was like, oh, my knee feels really tender. And for four days, it was like that, until on the fifth day, I got up in the morning and I'm like, I need to get some movement in this. So I did this, bent my knee, and then felt the kneecap go. Do you ditching beacon on single speed? Yeah. You're an idiot. Yeah, I know. The thing was, though, it's like, I know loads of people have done it fixed and all this. They do it, it's like, yeah, I've done it fixed, but they don't then go, but I didn't walk for a week <laughs> All the way back. Reduced stance as well slightly. Yeah, I pushed them in. They seem to, like for instance, these is what I rode for Kyrgyzstan. You can see, I actually drilled these out so I could get further back. Yeah. How bad is your knee pain now? It's pretty good now. I haven't ridden since GB Joro just to let it. Heel. So, Just to actually, the answer is we have no idea. Yeah. We haven't ridden. We haven't ridden. <laughs> yeah. Both of your knees um, abduct at the top of the stroke, so they come out the top of the stroke. Yeah, yeah. And the way you've got your cleats set up is to reduce and minimise your stance. So, you think that's for that? Well, I think we should go in completely the opposite way. So, what's happened here is the feet have been brought close. So, setting up cleat location for a stance perspective. And actually, this is something that I think someone asked about yesterday. It's counterintuitive. It's uh, <laughs> you, you want to, in order to increase your stance, you need to push the cleat in so, to yeah, stance the foot yeah, yeah. away from the shoe. I, mean, I know you've done this intentionally. Um, but because previously, when I had the bike fit, I was trying to get my stance wider, and you were like, What are you doing that for? Because, I mean, based on what I'm seeing now, we need to get your stance wider. All right. Because we're, we're, so we're, your knees I've, are coming I've out just gone the opposite now. Yeah, wrong work the hardest bike fit in the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, this leg is so much, so much less movement. You're stubborn. You have to, ow. It's a tickle stick. I swear he hits me all the time. That's a big accusation, Niku. That's on film. Oh no. It's a huge, posh monocle. Has anyone ever matched out? You do. Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> If you roll the bar down yeah. and roll the control up, it will reduce the reach slightly. I can do it for you now if you like. Yeah. We don't need to unwrap, do we? You do need to unwrap, but that's alright. He's really good at wrapping. Fuck, 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 fuck. Mother, mother, fuck. You mother, mother, fuck. Someone actually asked us in the comments, James. Mm. How do you set up your handlebars 
Um, but in this case, yeah, we've dropped the reach by a centimetre. Just with the hood position and rotating Yeah, the just by drop, rolling the bar down or on the hood up. And some of my Instagram followers um, seem to believe that it influences your interaction with the brake levers. Uh, I tested this theory. This theory, uh, it makes absolutely no difference to how you interact with your brake levers. Yeah, you're wrong. Yeah, it didn't taste it. Well, the problem with fitting on someone's bike is that by the time you've got when you got them off, made the change, getting back on again, they've forgotten how it feels. That's why we work on a jig. Yeah. But I mean, we sort of know that the fundamentals of your position are all right. This is really just tweaking it. So when someone's got a new bike, how do they set up their hoods correctly? It's a very rough guide. Get a small uh, spirit level to get that flat, so it's completely level. This is for a, 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 a compact drop handlebar like a Data RHM, Pro Vibe, Pro PLT, the specialised handlebars, some of the zips. If you get this bit flat, that will generally serve as, as in vertical, um, that will generally have the, the handlebar set up with the shortest reach possible and then have this however you want it. I tend to set them up with a slight kind of slope to them, just so that as you bring your hand to the control, that it sort of fits in your, in your, um, in your wrist, rather than, encouraging to, rather than encouraging you to roll your wrists like this. Because if, it if it's a flat, if the control's flat, you end up having to do a bit of that. Whereas if it, it has a little bit of an angle, the hand kind of meets them. It's a safer option. But I mean, experiment with it, unwrap the tape, See how you get on with it, but, expect, but the, I guess the, the, the fact of the matter is, I get guys who come in, you, you've got to consider the reach of the handlebar and how the controls are set up on the handlebar. You guys who buy some 3T handlebars, like the, is it the Elbow Nova or the Aero Nova? It's got like 130 millimeter reach. To put it into context, uh, this has got 70 mil. Yeah. So you're adding a lot of reach, a lot of reach to a bar, to a bike, sorry, mm. you know, just by changing the handlebar. And we were just discussing it anyway, like changing between one bar and another that, you know, the previous bar I had was meant to have a longer reach, but when I swapped to these, I actually found my reach got longer. Yeah. Even though on paper, these are meant to be shorter, but the problem there is how do they measure it? How do they measure it? it? Seemingly, there's no, there's standard. no standard, is yeah. there? The closest reach I found is Data RHM, and they do... I really like that. And I would only ever use that bar up to the top end aluminium bar, I wouldn't use the carbon bars. On the grounds that the carbon bars you have to set up in a certain way which makes the reach longer. Uh, Pro do a, a handlebar called the PLT, which is 75mm reach. Specialised stock handlebars are also very short in the reach. Longer reach bars, the zips I tend to find are a longer reach. Although, is this the SL70? So this is 70, yeah. so it has a shorter reach. But other enough, a slightly bigger drop. And the long, long reach bars be 3T. Uh, quite a lot of them actually. Do you ever fit? Do you ever really fit anyone on the long reach? Because I find nearly everyone, pretty much everyone I've worked with, uses compact. Yeah. Based on the fact that I spend most of my life reducing people's reach, I usually yeah. use the handlebar as a means of doing that rather yeah, than yeah. putting very short stems on the bike. It also kills two birds with one stone based on the fact that most bars are too wide. On a stock bike, on an off the shelf box bike, most handlebars are too wide. So yeah. the most average size bars coming in at 42 centimeters. The most common bar width I sell by very, I'm talking 95% of people is a 40. His knee might be better now. Probably. What did you change in the end? Increased his stance, brought his saddle up and forward. <laughs> oh, my big balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said, wasn't it, James? Fair play. That's exactly what I said. Jeez, <laughs> why, are you, why are you smuggling coconuts for? Why does this one hang lower? Nico's like, Nico's going like, how do you know all of these? It's supposed to be athletes. It's a beautiful day. I go back into my basement. Nice to see you. Earn some more money. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you. Well, you're going away now, aren't you? See you guys soon. I'll see you in two days. See you, in two see you days. soon. Well, nice. That was a long time sat outside in the side of James's shop. Now for another quick spin home, and Daisy's in the park. I'm going to try and meet her now at the bench. Hello. All right. I don't know what I did to myself on the gravel ride the other day, but my legs are absolutely smashed. I think uh, it's a pretty good thing that I've given myself a few days rest before rad race starts because it's going to be big miles. I'll be filming the whole event as usual, so I'll try and save as much energy as possible. But there is a few time sections, so inevitably I might get sucked into that. Hopefully I'll start feeling a little bit better when that event comes around next week. We're flying on Saturday, but it starts on Monday. Just going to keep spinning out the legs and they should feel better and better.
Nails are in the way. Does it even fit? No. You guys could be on Love Island.